G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to some more FIFA 17 content on my channel. So today I'll be teaching you various techniques to add to your attacking game in FIFA 17. But before we head off, help this channel grow, hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoy the video and hit that like button to show your support. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll get into the tutorial. So today the things that I will be teaching you include the finesse shot inside the box, the finesse shot outside of the box. Finishing near post, finishing far post, finishing with the driven, the new EA driven shot, and also finishing near post with a new EA driven shot. And whilst doing that, I will teach you various skill moves that will get you in, into position to score those goals. So now moving on to the finesse shot. All you need to do to perform the finesse shot is hold R1 and shoot at the same time, giving that curve into the corner of the goal. The finesse shot time and time again has been proven every year to be very OP, especially inside of the box. But don't leave me there. There is finesse shot that will get you goals and that's outside of the box. The finesse shot is very OP outside of the box, especially around the 18 yard area. To perform the finesse shot outside of the 18 yard, it's the same thing, but load up around three to two bars of power depending on where you are. You will see results, lads, as the ball will fly into the back of the net in the corner if you aim uh, precisely. Speaking about aiming, this year isn't as precise. You only really need to aim towards the flag goal. Now, having said that, this is the demo I'm talking from. I don't know what the real game is, so we'll see what happens in that situation. Now moving on to the driven shot. A new technique that EA have added into FIFA 17 this year compared to previous FIFAs. The driven shot can be performed by holding the shoot button and lightly tapping it afterwards. This will give a low and driven shot underneath the keeper's hand. This, throughout the demo, has proven to be very OP in situations inside the box. Not quite outside the box, as there's not enough power to get past the keeper. But, when inside the box, hit the driven shot, you're not, you won't be disappointed. Now moving on to near post finishes. This has proven time and time again to be very OP throughout the demo. It is only the demo. However, I have proven with the driven shot that the near post OP still remains in FIFA 17. Not with a normal shot, but with the driven shot. As you see here, Ronaldo doing a few skill moves. He comes inside and hits that driven shot near post. The keeper has no chance and it goes into the back of the net. This is what makes me personally think that the OP-ness of... Penis. <laughs> Sorry kids. The OPness of that shot still remains in FIFA. Now moving on to the most OP and broken shot in FIFA 17. The driven shot, as well as a normal shot, far post is bound to go in. If you have that space and you've beaten that defender, hit a near post. You'll have no regrets. It always seems to go in, either top corner or bottom corner. The keeper has no chance. Like FIFA 16, how it was OP with the near post, FIFA 17 is OP with the far post, which in my opinion is more realistic than near post. As you see here, Higuain hits the fake shot. This not only beats the defender, but also gets him into the position to finesse it top corner. The fake shot, as well as the ball roll, are both of the most OP skill moves you can use to get your body into the position to hit that finesse shot. As you see, Dybala here beats a few defenders, hits him with a ball roll and finesse his far post. That really, truly gets him into the position and has, has proven this year to be very OP. I'm going to quickly add in another aspect of finishing in FIFA 17. Crosses this year have been arguably not really OP, but I have personally found a way, just like FIFA 16, to score crosses very efficiently. If you want to score crosses, Hit that short person button. Before it jumps to the corner, all you need to do is hold down L2 or tap L2 and hit the, uh, the skip button. This will bring the short person in instantly, tricking your opponent, especially online. Then what you'll want to do is pass it to him. Go to the byline and cross it in. This has proven time and time again throughout the demo to be very OP. 
I can't always guarantee that it will work throughout FIFA 17 in the normal game. However, however, what I can guarantee is that's the AI. So they will need to change or do a patch to fix it. Another crossing technique that is much needed in your attacking game is the triple tap across the bots. This is a low and hard cross across the bots, making it easy for your striker or winger to tap it in far post. This is unstoppable to any online opponent and to any goalkeeper in FIFA 17. As you see here, Alessandro running through, triple taps it across the bots, and as you see, he taps it in. That is how OP it is, and I can assure you this will work on online fixtures. So that'll be it for me, guys. Another few techniques to add to your attacking game that are hopefully really helpful to you guys in this game. I can only say that it is the demo. However, the AI is what runs the demo. So basically, anything that is found to be OP this year in the demo will be in the full game, unless EA find it and patch it. I'd love to thank you for dropping in for another video. Help this channel grow. Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.